Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. What is or was your favorite Rhode Island record store? Oh, oh, uh, is the one in Warren, is it called In Your Ear Records? Yeah, In Your Ear, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, I love going to that place because they have a really good folk music section. Oh, right. Yeah, just like, I, I can't name any of the particular records that I've gotten from there off the top of my head, just because it's been a while since I've purchased a record, but they're almost always is at least like five things that uh me and ben my partner in the box centers uh want (laughs) yeah like as you're like uh, coming through there yeah yeah we drop a lot of cash every time we go (laughs) (laughs) that's awesome um cool next one uh is what is your favorite rhode island drink favorite rhode island drink is the coffee cabinet (laughs) all right any particular place that you like to uh yeah just uh down the down the street from in your records at delecta's pharmacy <laughs> oh right yeah That's have you ever cool had the uh, ca- coffee i cabinet? haven't no not from there no um, oh they're legit that's cool yeah they're so good i think they still use like i, I think they use like the same recipe and maybe the same machinery wow uh, that they had been always using since when they opened or something yep. like that uh it's it's super cute in there have you ever been inside yeah yeah yeah, it's it's a pretty uh, wonderfully nostalgic place. <laughs> cool. Uh, what is your favorite Rhode Island city, town, neighborhood? Like your favorite place in the state? <laughs> Where do you like to hang out? Uh, Warren, Rhode Island. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're nice. maybe a little obsessed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, Will Will Schaff is gonna be super excited to hear this because he's been championing that forever so um. it's it's so awesome i love it and like i think uh so i i grew up in west warwick and uh i i knew that i wanted to move to providence um mm-hmm. and i knew that warren was pretty hip and i had been going there since i was in high school because one of my classmates is from there so yeah. like you know always hung out at the coffee depot um and I knew it was like a super cool place and like there were a bunch of cool people around there, but I was like, oh, it's, it's just a little too far from Providence. Yeah. But, uh, I've spent enough time in Boston that distance is less of an issue for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so I think, I think I can bear the drive from, from. Where <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. One day. Yeah. I'm going to move to Warren. Cool. One day. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I love everything that's happening there with, galactic theater and um i'm friends with eli dunn who owns eli's kitchen i don't know if you've ever been there but oh uh, yeah went there once for brunch after a hike and it was so tasty yeah yeah he's, he's great um yeah but i'm with you uh i've been as i've been doing this podcast for a little while now i've you know interviewed some people from that area and they've uh really begun to sell me on it and just my experience of the times that i've gone down there for the Warren walkabout or whatever it's called. Um, Oh yeah. Yeah. They have the strolls and then the the holiday lighting. It's, it's just a fun time down there. So I love it. Common fence and yeah. uh, Hope, hope in Maine. I love going there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite Rhode Island pizza? Favorite Rhode Island pizza? Uh, probably right now is flatbread pizza. I guess oh, yeah. that count as Rhode Island. It's a chain. Hmm. Well, so their pizza is really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, ben and I, we, uh, from the before times, we would host uh, twice monthly pub sing at Flatbread Pizza off the Air Street. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's, uh, <clears throat> you know, not only is it a great venue and great people, but the pizza is also pretty damn good. Yeah. Uh huh. After that, I would probably have to say Federal Hill Pizza. Cool. Yeah, I guess like the one that's over on Chalkstone here, or the one on Chalkstone. Yeah, 
Nice. Yeah, I haven't been to the one in Warren, uh, but that would be hilarious if, <laughs> if that's the one that I was yeah. like, you're devi- you're de- I don't want to deviate from this, you know? So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should uh, just be the Warren 5. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'll, I'll rename it for this one, you know? Like, yeah. what are your favorite five things in Warren, Rhode Island, you know? Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's cool. Um, and uh, last one for uh, RI5. What is your favorite Rhode Island event? Probably the Blackstone River Theater Summer Solstice Festival. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. and Diamond Hill Park in Cumberland. Yeah. Yeah, this summer was supposed to be the uh, 10th anniversary. Yeah, so what do you like about that particular festival? Uh, well, I've been going to the Blackstone River Theater. Uh, have you ever been to that venue? I have, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen some shows and... Uh, took some like class, like a like a one one off class there, like a hand drumming class and stuff like that. So oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I've uh, so I've been going since I was fourteen or so. I saw my first like folk music concert there, mm-hmm. uh, and pretty much would only ever just go to see concerts through high school, and then. Didn't really go back for a really long time up until I moved back to Providence around 20, oh God, when was that? 2014 or so, started volunteering, mm-hmm. uh, got to reconnect with Russ <clears throat> and a couple other volunteers there yeah. uh, who went to school with or play music with on a regular basis. I just like love that theater and I love what they do. And it's it's a nice like hometown festival. Yeah. Uh, we play a lot of festivals, especially in the summer out of state in like Connecticut, upstate New York and Massachusetts. So it's nice to like leave the house at 10 a.m. and then get to the venue by 11 a.m. if we're playing. Yeah, 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 you don't Uh, have to travel too far for it. Yeah, and even if we uh, don't, if we're not booked there, we're still going to go anyway uh, just to hang out and hang, you know, see friends and stuff like that. So it's just one of those nice... uh, times of the year where you get to you know just not have to go far <laughs> yeah have fun yeah yeah I've, I've known russ uh Gassetti for a little while now but it's it does seem that he's pulled together like a really good like kind of close-knit uh network of like similar performers you know like um like people that do play at black and river theater they um you know like they all seem to to work together or perform together, like touring and stuff like that. Um, well, I know yeah. you played on your record and stuff like that. Everyone just seems to kind of be supportive and it's mm-hmm. really cool to see. So He knows how to run a theater, that's for sure. And like, he has a good ear for getting the right acts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the other thing I love about going to the theater is that as a volunteer, you get to go for free uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> when you fulfill your duties. Yeah. So I'm often uh, in the back, just like drinking a lot of tea. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, eating a lot of cookies. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got a lot of perks. Yeah, that's cool. No, I, but he seems like, um, and it's just great to see that that theater has really put a stake in the ground for that style of music. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I mean, would you agree with that? That it's like on the the radar of like traditional folk music and English folk and Celtic music. That like he's bringing in, you know, some pretty big names from out of the country. And it just seems that if you're part of that scene, you need to play at that place. You know? Yeah, absolutely. In Rhode Island, it's like the number one folk venue for me. Anyway, I, I love yeah. going there. And really good sound. You know, it's not yeah. obnoxiously loud. Yeah, uh, it's just the right the right volume, which I also appreciate. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, similar thing with the festival. I've, I've been able to go there for a few years and it seems like it's a pretty like tight knit, uh, group of performers as well as bringing in people from Quebec and some other, um, people from outside of the country, but it's just a really, for me, a really family friendly, just fun event. Um, mm-hmm. so, yeah, it's a bummer about this year, but I know that next year it's going to be even more kick ass. So, Oh, uh- Oh man, yeah. When the festivals are back on, yeah, <laughs> I feel like people are just going to be, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Marlon. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks for having me.
as I walked out one fine May morning. A brisk young sailor I chanced to meet stepped up to me, asked me to marry. Says I, kind sir, can you fancy me? Oh, how can you fancy a poor young woman who is not fit your servant to be? I intend to marry, make you a lady, and have a servant to wait on thee. I thank you, sir, for your kind intention. But I have a lover across the sea And seven long years I have waited for him And now I'll wait till he does return Seven long years makes an alteration Perhaps he may be dead and gone Well, if he's living, I love him dearly And if he's dead, he's in glory slain He took his hand from out his best coat his fingers were both neat and small And showing her the ring that was broken between them And when she saw this she did fall Who has just returned for to marry thee? 